There's a whole bunch of automotive themed shows out there, but if we're talking about the best ones, Chasing Classic Cars definitely tops the list. The show follows Wayne Carini, a restoration expert and Ferrari enthusiast who gives us glances at some of the world's rarest and most exotic cars. For most of us, it's the only chance we have to get a sneak peek at the world of elite car collectors who open up their exclusive garages only to Wayne. However, like any other reality show, there's more to chasing classic cars than what meets the eye. So in this list, we present before you five interesting facts about the show and the host Wayne Carini that you probably didn't know. But before we proceed, take some time to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of more great videos. The Real Life Chase The show's called Chasing Classic Cars, which mirrors Wayne's lifelong chase of cars since the age of 16. He was brought up in a car family where his father worked as a restorer and his cousin built hot rods. Being born and bred into the automobile refurbishing industry, Wayne eventually ended up in the same line of work. The chief of Essex Television Group, Jim Estrosky, noticed this and approached Wayne for a TV show pitch, which is basically how the show was born. Show Business Wayne has done restoration works for the likes of David Letterman and tennis legend Yvonne Lendl. He's your go-to guy if you want to purchase or restore a classic car. He is, without a shadow of a doubt, an automobile legend. But he's not a know-it-all like the show depicts. The world of classic cars is huge, and Wayne doesn't always know exactly what he's looking at. Just like the guys in Pawn Stars and the secret stash gang in Comic Book Men don't always know what they're talking about. Sometimes it's just show business. Wayne's Car Collection We've seen cars in the show that have not been shown in public for decades. For instance, the 1952 Muntz Jet in Season 1 and the ultra-rare 1964 Shelby Cobra US RRC Roadster in Season 3. That's in the show, but Wayne himself owns an impressive collection of over 25 classic cars, including some rarities like a 1936 Ford pickup and a 1948 David Davin. From teacher to car expert. Wayne eventually and rightfully landed back in the family restoration business, but there was a time when he wanted nothing to do with cars. He studied at Central Connecticut State University in New Britain to become an art teacher. But since job prospects for art teachers were scarce, that didn't pan out too well. So he went back to his roots, learned Ferrari restoration from Francois Sicard, and became the car expert that we all know and love. A ratings machine. The show has been around on TV for a long, long time. Since 2008, to be precise. It has 11 seasons under its banner, and based on its popularity, doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. However, it reached its pinnacle only in the last two years as a standout show for Velocity. The show's season 10 premiere in 2017 totaled the largest audience in the month for Velocity, which was an increase of 59% from last year. This only means good news for fans as they might be getting more of chasing classic cars in the future. What is your favorite moment from the show? Sound off in the comments below. Also. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to be part of our notification squad.